This hack tip is brought to you by Bitbucket by Atlassian. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morse, and today we are talking about man pages. Okay, so first off, I realize talking about man pages is very much Linux Terminal 101, but I realized that I have never actually done an episode about customizing output for man pages, so I figured, eh, why not? So man, which is short for manual, stores a bunch of information about different kinds of commands that you can run into that you would normally use in the terminal. They are often written by the developers that wrote the commands, but not all the time, and they are all different. So you will find that most man pages follow a bit of organization. There's description of the command, what it does, and then some options that you can use it with. Sometimes you will also find examples that can be super, super useful. Now, man pages are not always up to date, keep that in mind, but they are a really good starting point for understanding a new command. If you wanna find a man page that you wanna look at, so for example, mine, I'll try, I'll try man IP since that's the one I most recently used. And no, there is no manual entry for woman. And super easy, I can just scroll up and down with the arrow up and down, or I can page up and down to go to the top or the bottom, or I can use F, to move forward, B to move back, and I can use spacebar to skip forward too. So super easy, just really nice keyboard shortcuts that you can use there. I can also use the forward slash, just like that, to look for some kind of terminology. So I'll look for route and then hit enter. And you'll notice that it highlights route up here. And then I can use N to skip to the next uh, saying of route, wherever that ends up being in the, in the man page. Now let's say that there is a command, you don't remember what the command is actually called, but you know that something exists using some kind of terminology. So you, in this case, you could actually use man tack k and then whatever the term is that you know. So for example, if I wanna run lawcat, but I don't know the full name lawcat, I would just be like, oh, okay, so I know that lawcat has the word cat in it somewhere and it turns my text rainbow colors. So what I can do is go over to man tack k and look for cat. And this is going to bring up everything that has cat somewhere in the man page. So I'll just scroll up and look for something that involves rainbow colors. And eventually I'll find it, rainbow coloring of text, and it's called lawcat. By the way, if you wanna install lawcat yourself, it's just simply sudo apt install lawcat, and it's really, really cute. Trust me, it's totally worth it. Okay, so now that you hopefully have lawcat installed because it's so adorable, let's go ahead and take a quick break to thank our sponsor. Let's be honest, your code is your world. You create it, you tweak it, and you lovingly obsess over it every single day. So picking the right repository management tool is super important. Only the best for your code. Same with me, only the best for my code. That's why the team at Atlassian created Bitbucket. Bitbucket is the Git solution for professional teams helping over 5 million developers build with a purpose. Bitbucket gives teams of all sizes free, that's right, again, I said free, private repositories with state of the art features like the world's best pull request algorithm, built-in continuous delivery, and integrations with your favorite tools like Docker, AWS, and Azure. Plus you get Jira integration. Since it is from Atlassian, giving your team everything you need to take your code from concept to customer. We've used Bitbucket here to share private code and collaborations with each other so that the code is so perfect before we ever release it into the wild. Bitbucket is for the code that takes us to Mars. It's for the code that decodes the human genome or it drives your next car. Or for us InfoSec people, maybe it's for your next InfoSec tool. You can visit bitbucket.org slash for the code to start your free account. That's bitbucket.org slash for the code. Try Bitbucket today. What will your code do? We are now back with more man pages. So let's say I just want to know what a command does, not necessarily open up the man page because that's just too much work for me. So I can do this with man tack f. So in the case of lawcat, it would just be man tack f lawcat. And then that will bring up lawcat and tell me exactly what it does, whatever the description might be. If you think your man pages need to be updated, you can use man tack u lawcat to update the database. 
So you'll notice that LawCat has a 6 after it, and that basically just means that it falls under the games category. Now there are 8 different categories that you can run into, so the highest number that you will see over there is a number 8. So I'll list those out for you. From number 1, that would be anything like a SSH agent, like this one, or it could be CD or make directory. Number 2 is low level stuff, like socket right here, or it might include a chmod. C library library functions, that's number three, that's going to include beep, HTML parser, and then you have number four, which is special devices. So special devices would be anything like LP, console, and a lot more. Number five is for file formats and conventions, so this would include passwd, apt, hosts, those all fall under that category. And then number six again is games, which is self-explanatory. Number seven is going to be miscellanea, and number eight is system for things like mount and shut down. Now some commands may fall into more than one category, keep that in mind whenever you're looking through here, but I believe they usually list them with the lowest number possible. Now that's about all you need to know on man pages, but be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash hack5, and hit the like button if you got some info out of this episode that you thought was worthwhile. Until then, I want to hear your feedback. You can comment below, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.